Hey everybody, it's me. Um, um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own Super Mario World levels. What you wanna do first is get this thing called Lunar Magic. What you're gonna do is go to internet, go to the top, type in Lunar Magic. The first one, the first one that says Fuso Ya Niche, never understood that. <laughs> um, and then you want to click Download Editor at the top and click this. Then you want to download it and all that. And it's going to be this one, not the one that says right here, not the question mark one, this one, and with the little square one. Okay, once you get that, if you Go it. It will be like it will look like Mario with a um, moon thing right here. Not Mario. Well, it differs on different computers. If you have like a little laptop, Mario won't have a cape. If you have a big one, Mario will have a cape. Then you open it and you got this. Now you want to keep that open. Now what you want to do is you want to get a Super Mario World ROM. So go back to the top and type in Super Mario world rom okay you wanna go to the first one which is says coolroms.com you wanna go down and right here it says please wait your download link will appear in four seconds or one two or whatever then you click download your file then it shouldn't take very long to download when you download it you wanna do this one the Super Mario World SMC thing. You want to extract that to your desktop. And when you do, then what you want to do is you want to go back to Lunar Magic. Up, you want to click this. You want to click this little thing right here. And then you want to find your ROM. Like if it's on your desktop, you go to desktop, you find it. But I have it in. Oh wait, I have it in Lunar Magic for a little test drive. I have it right here. You click on it, and then you get this Super Mario World thing. It looks like Super Mario World. You can, like, edit all the places and all that. Okay. Now, here's how you use Lunar Magic. This button right here, that edits the land. Stuff like this. This this is land. Oh, um, that's not land. That's not land. That's land, 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 land. And you, if you left click on it and then you move it with your mouse you get to move it around mostly land stays on the ground so wherever you put land it will stay you know I'm just saying um and that's um that's how you move that this turtle shell when you click on it it moves the sprites this is a sprite that's a sprite that's a sprite that's a sprite basically the stuff that moves and can hurt you sometimes you know that doesn't hurt you. It helps you. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Now you got these two buttons right here. When you click on both of them, you get these two little tile things. Um, one is for, um, land, the object window, and the other is for sprites. Say you want to add, um, coins. What you have to do is you have to have the land tile, you have to have this selected. You left click on the screen, right click. Then you, it's up here, you can move it around and all that. For sprites, click on the sprite, same concept, and you get the thing. Now, for land, put that on. When you have land, you see, when you go to the right edge, you can make it longer, fatter, both ways. Can we just move it? You can just basically move it around in a way. And then, um,. And then, yeah, and um, see if you click on this right here, it takes all kind of stuff. You got standard, um, tile specific, extended, and di um, direct map 16. Don't worry with the direct map 16. I'll um, I'll show that in a later video. The tile specific, it depends on something I'm gonna have to show you. Extended objects is just objects that you you can. It's just other objects. 
Um, and let me show you about the um tile specific. Tile specific. If you see, if you, you see this um poisonous mushroom right here, if you click on it, it says change GFX and header. Header, yeah. See right here, the first one is um is what you, what you have on the um thing like this no, is normal too. See if I click on underground one, it gets all kind of screwed up because it's not the right stuff you use. I see if you go back to normal two, it's back how it's supposed to be. See now, see if it's if say you have normal two. For normal two, this you will get. This is what you will have when you have normal two. You will get a small trunk, but if you go and you click on underground one, you change it. You don't have all your underground. You have lava and all that. That depends on this. Um, where is it? Normal two. Yeah. Um, well, that's that. Um, now for the sprites. If you do that again, you get tile specific sprites. The same concept, but except tile specific sprites. This you change this. Say you want mushroom. Watch. See. Wait. See how it's on bottom tie bill. If I go to, sp you see how it's all glitched up. See it's all glitched up because they're not. It's not on the right. Um, it's not on the right thing. Like the tall specific isn't right. See it's bonsai bill. It's a spiny falling. If you want that, you have to go to um. You have to just like see right here. It says SP402. You have to look for that SP402 force. There, it's right. It looks right. But now, if you look at the the uh, buzzy beetle. See how the spiny and the buzzy beetle look the same? The buzzy beetle is wrong. That's not what it actually looks like. It's SP404. You just have to work around with it. And that's... It. Whoa. <laughs> See, it gets all glitched up. Okay. Um. Now, if you press Control and Delete, you get to... um. You can delete every object and right, and then you have this. Um. Now, don't worry about these buttons... Or, um, this, well, I'll show that in a different thing. Uh, what else can I show you? Well, screen exits, I'll show that in a different video. Oh, I'll show you how to move Mario around. Well, first, let me add some land. Screw it down till you find. ledge say I want to put the ledge over there but Mario that's where he starts he's gonna just fall right down so what you want to do if you click this one it's modify main which is right here and midway which is somewhere else entrance screen number of entrance is on zero because watch if you press F1 you get to see the screen numbers this is zero so he's on number zero this is one, so if I click one, Mario moves to one. So now you want to put it on zero, and he's on zero. But how do you move Mario up? This X position is how you move it up. So say you want this, see if it works. No, doesn't work. So you, you have to just screw around with it. Oh, sorry, that's, the, that's not right. This is how you move Mario up. Wait, that's too high. But right there. Nope, not high enough. That right there. Now say I want to move Mario in the middle of that ledge right there. Okay, I guess no. You have to just move it around a little until you get it to where you want it. Okay. No. There, he's in the middle now. Move that around. Oh, and let me tell you another thing. You see these lines right here? The it separates from one to zero to one. If you stop a ledge on this right here, it the screen will stay when you start playing. But I need to show you how to play first. But that'll be in a different video. Just rem remember that if you stop it on a line right here, even if it looks it's cut off, it won't be cut off when you're playing if you leave it like that. Okay. Um, um, if you go, not that, this Mario head, and you see layer one, 
FG vertical scrolling. Yeah, if you click on it, you have all kind of different stuff. You got vertical, sc no, no vertical scroll, which means if you jump, Mario will just the screen will not move. Vertical scroll at will. If Mario jumps, the screen the move the screen will move with them. No vertical scroll unless climbing, flying, or etc. Which means like if he flies or climbs, he will fly. I mean, he will have vertical scroll. No vertical or horizontal scroll. So even if you have a level like more stuff over there, like like over here, it will not move or it will not go up. So let's put vertical scroll at will. So if you save, now it will stay like this. Now, I'm gonna show you how to play the levels. What you wanna do is you wanna go to the internet. I th There's two options you can use. You can go and use ZSNES. You have to click on emulator zone. And then you click on this one, you download it, all blah, blah blah blah. Or you can use SNES. You have to type in SNES 9X. Then you go to the emulator zone, the same thing for SNES, the um, other thing. And you click on the this one not the K this one and you download and all that but I think the best one is um ZSNES that's just my opinion now what you want to do is you want to have ZSNES on your thing right here so what you want to do is you want to press file emulator run emul ROM and emulator and emulator path and find you have to press browse and you have to go to your desktop which and you look for um ZSNES. It has a W at the end for some reason. I never understood that. Then you press OK. And then you have this loaded up. Now if you um you can play with it. You just have to uh fool with the controls a little bit. I'll do a video on that too. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay. You move around. Well, I forgot, you You have to use the controls however you want it. Now, see how the screen jumps with me? Watch. See, the screen jumps with me. Now, that's how you edit. You just have to move around with it, figure out how everything goes, and then you'll do good. Well, I'm starting out. See ya.